Didi, stay. Didi. Fully trained and ready for action. The rest is up to you. Oh shit. Didi, go. <laughs> Guys, this is awesome. I did not see this coming. Cry Havoc. Not entirely sure what that means. Obtained emblem part, diamond dogs, awesome. Equipment for D-Dog can now be developed. I am so happy right now, guys. Hey, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5. So I was just going to go get, uh, you know, set up on the um, side off that I plan to do for this video. And uh, luckily, I'm always recording, even if I don't plan on... Showing what I'm playing at the time because this cutscene just popped up. Development project has been Let me added. explain what D Dog can do as your buddy. Please do. With that nose of his, he can sniff out and mark nearby enemies and prisoners. Should come in handy for infiltrating outposts. I trained him to detect mines and medicinal plants too. Damn. When he locates something, check your map. I will certainly do that, Ocelot, and thank you very much. Okay. So the first thing we gotta do, obviously, is we gotta come in here and see what we can give him. Please I saw something about a sneaking knife. Project. Development requirements met. So, yeah, sneaking knife. Cost 100,000 GMP. That's not so much. I'm okay with that. Um, D-Horse has the same stuff he's always had. So this works the same way that all the active stuff we can make is just here on the first uh, menu. I like it that way. So, of course, we're gonna make that. And luckily it's instant, so now we just gotta go in and equip him with it. I guess that means he can just, like, straight up murder fools. Man, I'm so happy. I had no idea when that was gonna become a thing, but here it is. Okay, so wouldn't you guys know it? As soon as I said that I wasn't gonna do any more side ops, because they were just, like, becoming overwhelming and taking over my videos, we actually went and got some interesting ones. We got Make Contact with Emmerich, and this... Uh, there's a capture of the legendary brown bear side up too. I don't I don't have no idea what that's about, but I kinda want to check it out. What's the description? Stuff of legend, somebody's strength may cause difficulties. So I, I'm guessing it's gonna it says capture, not kill, so we're gonna have to pump about eight million tranks into it, I guess. But before we do that, we're going to get Emmerich because this is yellow, and I think that means it's really important. And um, this might open up some more story stuff, maybe some more stuff to do for us. So Please select a landing zone. Now the good news is I did unlock this drop zone here the last time I was in this power plant. The bad news is the danger is high. I don't know in entirely what that means. I think it means we're pretty likely to get shot the fuck down if we try it. But... What's the point of having this drop zone if you don't use it, right? I mean, I guess worst case scenario is I blow up my chopper. It's happened before. It costs like 30,000 GMP, whatever. Let's, let's try it out. D-Dog. Oh god, I'm so happy. Finally have a buddy. I thought I was gonna get quiet first. D-Dog grew up pretty quick. But, let's see. Um, where do we equip him from? Buddy menu, equipment naked. Here we go. We can give him a sneaky knife. Equip with a knife, use the do it, kill enemy command to have him kill an enemy. God, I can't wait to try this. I mean, I don't want to murder, like, everybody. But... Like, he gets his own little sneaking suit. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is the best game ever made. This is the best game ever made. Hold on a second. So, giving him the sneaking knife, at, and that comes along with the suit. Yeah, that's weird. So I guess every weapon you give him is going to make him look different. It's going to suck not having D-Horse, but since we're just dropping right in anyway, it's kind of like, whatever, you know? Um, let's see... Do I want to keep... 
I think I want to keep the shotgun. I kind of liked using that. I still have my Riot SMG for non-lethal stuff. I think we'll just stick with all that for right now. And I don't really need to change out anything else. Actually, do I have... I did, I did develop a bunch of different types of cardboard boxes. So let's see. Forest, red, city, red soil camo pattern. That might be good for... No, this is more of like an industrial setting, so maybe we want the city, because this is like a power plant. Metal or concrete surfaces. I don't know, it probably doesn't matter. Let's just, uh... We'll go with that anyway, just to see how it looks. D-Dog's getting restless, so uh, let's get the hell out of here, guys. I don't think there's anything else we need to equip. And we'll do... Let's do night. Oh man, I got the dog ready and he's ready to roll. You won't believe the coming death toll. This is fucking awesome. That's a little song I just made up right here on the spot about how much I love D dog and how many people we're going to murder. I probably should have been reading that hint screen instead of singing to myself. Fatal mistake, long couch. Oh, look at him. He's such a good boy. Oh, dispatch mission successful. Should probably go in and start another one of those. I'm really hoping that dropping in like this doesn't cause like a huge alarm. And then my chopper doesn't get blown up. I probably should have equipped... I should have developed those flares and equipped those. Because that probably makes it take a lot less damage. Okay. They're already shooting at it. This is great. Fuck you guys. Yeah, these guys are not happy with the fact that my chopper is inbound. Combat status. I don't know why I pronounced it like that. Alright, be quick, chopper. Just get me in there and then get out of here. It is really hard to be accurate with this thing. Alright, we're good. Alright, so the chopper made it out. That's awesome. D-Dog found an enemy. D-Dog's already going to work, man. This dude's ready to roll. Alright. Question is, do these guys know I'm up here? And I guess uh, we just completed development on a mine, too, so that's cool. Um, so is D-Dog, like, gonna get shot? Like... Where is he? He must be, like, down doing work already. Um... Okay, so they're coming to my last known position. That's that's up here, right? I don't see anybody coming at me right now, though. I'm more concerned with where D-Dog is. I don't know if he can, like, die. I mean, D-Horse seemed pretty immortal. But I don't really want to dick around and find out. Alright, so I could call him here. Have D-Dog attack the enemy in the center of your view. Whistle for D-Dog to come over. What's the difference between Whistle and DD? Oh, 
Alright, so they're definitely on the hunt. And once again, it won't let me use my Phantom Cigar. Even though, well, I guess, wow, they are they are rolling deep up here. They, they, they know where I am. Even though they said they really didn't. Oh, fuck. This is gonna go bad. Dee Dee, come to me. Did he even get off the chopper? Like, where the fuck is he right now? God, all these dudes are up here. This is gonna go bad. Okay, you can't blind throw grenades. That's unfortunate. Eat this, fellas. I don't feel like dealing with all y'all. And they're back in alert status. <laughs> they can't bring in more people because I destroyed their comms. Alright, let's save my suppressor. I don't know where all these guys came from because I definitely cleared this place out the last time I was here anyway. So it's kind of lame that there's like so many fucking people. Okay, there's... There's Dee Dee. He's got a little icon showing me where he is. I don't know why he jumped down there straight away, but I guess he just, he was eager to get shit done. Wow, that was a long fall. I probably shouldn't have done that. We're all right, though. Good boy, Dee Dee. Good boy. Alright, so Deedee's kind of supposed to, like, identify things for me. And, like, mark people and things. Okay. That dude, wow. He saw me from really far away. Yeah, D look at him. He just, like, automatically marked that dude right there. That's awesome. Alright, so if I get close enough to him... Let's see if he's under heavy fire. Alright, so I just tried to tell Dee Dee to kill that guy. Oh, God! You motherfucker! Fuck you! Stop shooting my dog! Okay, that, that didn't go great. That didn't go great at all. I'm just gonna fucking... take these guys out. This kind of already ceased to be a stealth mission, so it really doesn't matter. All right, what, 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 Dee Dee, what, what are you doing? Fuck! What happens if I try it again? This probably only works if they're not in combat status. Oh shit! I think he got him. Yeah! Awesome! He fucking got him that time. And then he gave a victory, Hal. Good boy, Dee Dee. Good boy! I love my dog. I already love this game, and now I just love it even more. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. 
All right, taking all these dudes. They said we captured the base, so I guess we're actually just about done here already. Now, what happens if, uh... He's coming too. Roger that. Oh, now it says wait. Have D-Dog wait in his current position. Talk to Dee Dee. Dee Dee! What did that accomplish? Dee Dee! <laughs> okay. I got some systems to figure out with D-Dog. But we'll, we'll get there. Alright, I heard that if you mash the button, it goes faster. Oh, we're going into a cutscene anyway. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Cool. Units leveling up. Oh, wow. Just a minute. This isn't what we agreed on. The changes have already been finalized. It's not operational yet. The remote piloting and AI control haven't reached the application stage. Who said anything about an AI? That was Coldman's mistake ten years ago. Be that as it may, we'll need to modify postural control to accommodate a human pilot. I share your urgency, but we need more time to finish it. The analyzed transmission has been in contact with Big Boss. Right. Planning on leaving us, Doctor? Huh? What? Yikes. And of course he pees himself. So you're just gonna kill me. So Holanthropus is mine now. What the fuck is that thing? We still have use for it. Oh boy, that looks like a Metal Gear. I should have brought a grenade launcher. Wait, actually, I, I do have one. Never mind. Sometimes the load times in this game are a little rough. Every now and then. Oh boy, this is bringing us straight into episode 12, okay. That's so weird. A side op led right into a main episode. Side op completed. No doubt about it, boss. That man is your extraction target, Emmerich. The weapon system that disappeared what into that cave. The man who was with it. 
Emmerich must know something about what's going on. He was transferred to the Soviet's base camp. I've marked it on the map. Make your way to that base camp. Okie dokie. Alright, before we do that, real quick, I'm just gonna come in here and do another deployment. You gotta keep those rolling. Please select a mission. Far Waters Exploitation. Oh, 5,000 fuel. Oh, God. I hope I get that. I need that. Only 90%. Okay, this is actually a little tough. Hold on a second. Ah, shit. Alright, that's what I was trying to do. Like brought up to 91. This really needs a real time like display when you're selecting these guys. There probably is, and I just don't see it because I'm an idiot. Why did it go down to 84? God damn it. Uh, combat unit suitability descending. I mean, should be in the right order. Fuck it. We're putting our best and brightest. Okay, there we go. Unit dispatched. Bring me that fuel, fellas. I need it. Okay. So I guess we're starting episode 12 now. I'm just going to keep this video rolling because we're only about 20 minutes in by my calculations. And this looks like it might be rough. This place is big. Holy shit. But they were nice enough to give me a uh, full suppressor back on my right SMG. That was nice of them. Okay, so now that we're not in a combat status, let's uh, let's try and get. Oh, he's going upstairs. Damn it! What about this? Go. Try and kill that guy, Didi. <laughs> he brings the knife out. He just fucking goes for it. Okay, that guy saw it. And sh oh, fuck you! He shot my dog. Damn it. Okay. Just trying to get behind him. No, headshot. How many headshots does it take? Jesus. Took half my damn suppressor. Alright. So that's a little dangerous. They definitely uh, will react to DD. They don't want him. Running around knifing the dudes, that makes perfect sense. And I can't fault in these guys in here. Let me, uh... Alright, let me go ahead and wake this guy up so I can interrogate him. You just stay right the hell where you are. Tell me your secrets. Wait, what? There we go. I wonder... Alright, so this is a little messed up, but I gotta try this for science. If I tell DD to kill this guy when he's on the ground... Where are you going? Oh, he's going for another dude. No, I was looking at this guy. Where are you going? DD. What the fuck? I don't think he knows exactly what he's doing right now. But I see there's intel files over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. It's pretty nice how DD just kind of marks anybody in, like, the immediate area. Oh, what? Did he sniff out this intel, too? Because that's not what the guy told me. The guy told me about processed materials. If that's, if that's what happened, that's, like... That's major, man. That's almost, like, OP. DD's just, like, filling in your map for you. Caution. Like, that takes a lot of the recon work out of the game, but I guess it... I mean, that stuff was pretty heavy in the beginning, so it kind of takes that stuff away and leaves you more, like, uh, tactical. Like, like, to focus more on tactics and things like that. So that, that could be cool. Pinky 
intel found obtained. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. We've got a fix on the target. I've updated your map info. Check it on your iDroid. Awesome. All right, so he's pretty damn far over that way. Oh my God. Are you fucking serious? I better find a vehicle to take. <laughs> I can hear dudes chatting somewhere. So this guy that we're in pursuit of right now... Oh, check it out. <laughs> that gun landed straight up on its muzzle. That's funny. This guy that we're in pursuit of, his name is... Well, his nickname's Huey. I'm not sure what his first name is. But his last name is Emmerich. He's the father of Otacon from Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2. And all we really know about him is that, like, he was heavily involved in the, in the whole, like, development of Metal Gear. And if you remember a couple videos ago, um, Kaz mentioned that he... We were kind of, like, friends with him before we went into that coma, you know, when original Mother Base was still around. And he might be one of the ones who betrayed us and gave us up to Cypher. So I'm not sure what our purpose is in going after him right now. But... Obviously, we would like to get some answers from him. Alright, so there's nothing going on up here. How the hell do I get through this door? Trying to find something to crawl through or something to crawl over. And what is that thing? Enemy predicted movements. Maybe I'm not supposed to go through this thing. Maybe I'm supposed to get out of here and just drive over there. Alright. But yeah, it's kind of funny that they had him pee his pants in that cutscene. That's like an ongoing Metal Gear Solid joke. Every single person in Otacon's family ends up peeing their pants at some point. Like, Otacon did it in the first game when he was being attacked by, um, Gray Fox. His sister did it in Metal Gear Solid 2. A single burst from his machine gun can cut a man in half. Great. Carefully, boss. I'll try. Oh, that thing. Oh, man. Okay, so they've got a flying gunship. My chopper is probably no match for it. Did I just fucking clear this place out? And also, I have no idea what that thing's, like, field of visibility is, so... I'm probably gonna get spotted right away. This guy appears to be alone, though. What happens if he just sees Dee Dee? I wish I could tell him to, like, go over there. Like, go... Go make friends with that guy. Get him on your side. And then kill him. Get him. No? Dee Dee doesn't want to kill anybody anymore. He's tired of getting shot already. There he goes. Oh, man. Sure to take that motherfucker out. Good boy, DD. Good boy. I won't ask you to do that too much, okay? Just, you know, I'm trying to get the feel of what you're capable of. You know how it goes. Alright, so last time, this place had like a 4x4 truck. I would love to find that again and commandeer it for myself. Sitting right up there where I dropped in. There's two more guys over there. Analysis complete. Uh, is the chopper seriously just going to sit there? Because I'm pretty sure over here is where that vehicle was last time. Yeah, 
man, seriously, get the fuck out of here. This is bullshit. Alright. I'm gonna say I'm probably not supposed to go over that way right now. I'm pretty sure if I go over there, I'm gonna get lit the fuck up. Oh, okay, okay. Now it's moving. Alright, never mind. We're gonna resume the original plan. I'm gonna try and take these guys out as quietly as possible. This dude's sick or something. Oh shit, he's coming up here. Fuck this. Okay. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, this sucks. Coming at me from two sides. Dee Dee, kill that guy. Where? Once again. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. So you just go back down there. What the fuck? Why? Mm. This place is just a little too heavily guarded for my taste right now. I just want to hijack a vehicle, that's all I want. Or worst case scenario, just get back on that roof and fly over to where I need to be. Right, this dude's off on his lonesome now. What the hell, did he hear me? I'm wearing my sneaking suit, it's bullshit. Finally. Right, let's drag him back a little bit. This is really slow going. Tell me where the vehicle is. Oh, I don't care about that right now. Alright, just go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna take him over here. And then send him into orbit. I figured that guy was going to see me, but I just wanted to get eyes over here. I don't see that damn vehicle now. Alright, we're going down this way. I think we should just get the hell out of here, honestly. Try to find a truck somewhere else. There's just too many guys around here. I'm going to end up going into alert status if I'm not careful. And this is even nighttime, and there's like these guys are on point. They're just fucking seeing everything. They do have MVGs though. That that probably is why. That would explain it. Tell you what, guys, it's gonna be a pain in the ass just to get out of this place. We haven't even, like, really gotten to the place where the actual mission starts. That dude saw me too. Barely. My question is, is there a mission I can send my guys out on that will get rid of these night vision goggles that they have? Because, man, that would be good. These guys are just, like, 
When they're equipped with those things, it's just like, it's way too easy to get spotted. That guy knows something's up. Hold on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Pick him up. Fucking move. Oh my god. Alright, I think we made it. That was too damn close. <laughs> and now you're coming with me. He's taking the long way around. This guy is probably going to see me the second I step out of here. Just turn your light the other way. There you go. Alright, I think we're good. Woo! That was a real pain in the ass, guys. Question is, can I get up and around here? Yeah, I figured they wouldn't let me climb that way. That makes sense. Alright, we finally made it out. So guys, this mission took on a life of its own that I did not expect. Did you see that, boss? Huh? curious who that guy is. He needs some fucking aloe vera or something. That, that dude has issues. Alright, so what I was gonna say, guys, I hate to break up a mission, or rather like, yeah, break up a mission across two different videos, but um, that kind of happens from time to time, and that's definitely what's happening now. I'm gonna call this one here, and we'll resume this mission next time and see how it all plays out. I'll probably uh, start the next video when I'm just a little bit closer. It's gonna take a little while to uh, get there, I think. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Dude Long Couch. DD, I love you so much. Oh my god, I can't even express it. Uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>